right, good afternoon to you. It is a Monday, a cloudy, dreary Monday here in Houston. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shea. We've got a lot of rain here from an area of low pressure actually in the Gulf of Mexico. But good news, it is not of the tropical variety, so we're not worried about it turning into a tropical depression or tropical storm. But that low has been bringing us a good supply of rainfall for the last day and a half or so. But overall, we do still have to watch what's brewing in the rest of the tropics because we actually have one area that we're monitoring in the southwestern Caribbean. We still have a few weeks to go in the 2023 hurricane season, and even though the chance is low to get an additional tropical storm or hurricane, it is still possible and this area of disturbed weather in the southwestern Caribbean is proving that it is still possible. This is our potential late season surprise. We've got an area to watch here. You can see the reds and purples and yellows. That is a big area of showers and storms just east of Central America. This is in the southwestern Caribbean and it is kind of disorganized right now, but the water in this area in the Caribbean is still pretty warm, middle 80s. So we've still got that fuel for this system to develop. We're not expecting a ton of wind shear to rip it apart. So as it gradually tracks to the north and east, we are expecting there to be now a high chance that this could develop into yet another tropical depression, tropical storm or hurricane. There's a 0% shot for that happening over the next 48 hours, but there's a 70 percent chance for that happening over the next seven days. Notice the general movement or the general track that we are expecting for this possible tropical system and that is going to be off to the north and east. So if it develops, which it likely will, that would take it through the Central Caribbean and eventually up into portions of Haiti, the Dominican Republic and parts of eastern Cuba. So we'll have to watch those Caribbean islands and we'll have to monitor the Bahamas as well. But it looks like the good news for us is that it will stay away from the Gulf of Mexico. Even though it is in the Caribbean, it would have to move more to the northwest to go into the Gulf of Mexico. And it looks like it will push more to the north and east. So I'm not that concerned about this heading towards the Houston area. But as I mentioned, it could impact some of the Caribbean islands. So we'll have to watch it closely. Bottom line, we do still have a system that could become a tropical storm or hurricane to watch. Now I want to show you what's happening in the Gulf of Mexico. As I mentioned, we do have an area of low pressure, basically just a little south of Houston right now, but it is not going to turn into anything tropical, but it will be dumping several inches of rain potentially across portions of southern Louisiana, southern Mississippi, and over into the Florida Panhandle. They actually need that rain across Louisiana. They are in a severe drought, worst drought in decades, but overall, that area of low pressure that was bringing us the rain will start to push east and it will take our rain chances with it by tomorrow afternoon. Out in the Atlantic, things are looking quiet. Nothing that we're monitoring that could possibly blow up and become a tropical storm or hurricane or even a tropical depression. So things are pretty quiet in the Atlantic Ocean now, even though those waters out there are still fairly warm. Quiet as well across the Eastern Pacific. It has been super busy in this part of the world as well. But at this point, we're not seeing any disturbances that would potentially turn into tropical systems and maybe impact Central America or parts of Mexico. So that is great news, but we do still have that one system in the Southwestern Caribbean that we are monitoring. And of course, we'll keep you updated on that. Water temperatures are starting to cool off even more in the Northern Gulf of Mexico. So that's good news for us. That means if there were anything that would try to head our way, that water would not be as supportive with the cooling off of that water. So remember not long ago, we had those water temps well into the 80s. Now we're down to almost the upper 60s for parts of the Northern Gulf, 79 degrees over into the Northwestern Gulf, but still low 80s for the Northwestern Caribbean and a middle 80s showing up for the Eastern Caribbean. So we've got our system that could become a tropical depression or tropical storm in the southwestern Caribbean. So that's where we've still got those water temps in the 80s. So we'll have to watch that one closely. Other good news, we've only got a couple of weeks left in this year's hurricane season, about two more weeks to go, and then we can wave goodbye to this hurricane season and wait it out until next season. But we do get a break, of course, over the winter and for a portion of the spring. So 
we'll be looking forward to that. And another good thing, we haven't been hit by a single tropical storm, tropical depression, or hurricane. So if we can get through the next couple of weeks, then we would have made it through yet another season for Southeast Texas, or we were spared from any potential devastating impacts. We have had several named storms though, from Arlene all the way through to Tammy and we've still got the potential for Vince and Whitney at least for a few more weeks. There's actually now a high chance that we may have Vince over the next week. So that would put us up to 21 named storms. But currently for this season, 20 named storms, seven hurricanes, three major hurricanes. So above normal for our named storms are still right around average for our number of hurricanes, including major hurricanes. So that is what is happening out there in the tropics, of course. We always want you to head to the App Store if you haven't already. Grab and download our Fox 26 weather app. Anything blowing up, popping out there in the tropics, you can find updates on. And of course, you can get your local weather as well. You can track whatever is on radar. So just make sure to have it. Great thing to have as you're out and about, enjoying your evening, enjoying your morning. You will have all of the weather info you need right at your fingertips. Well, that will do it for today's tropical weather update. Remember, we will continue to do these every afternoon all the way through the end of our hurricane season, which now is only two weeks away. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shade. Enjoy the rest of your day.